So hello everyone, thank you for coming. So in, my, in this presentation, I'll be talking about how to establish or reestablish your Alpha Lemma Delta chapter. So just for a little background with our SSU chapter. So the SSU chapter was installed in 2018 and it was a small chapter with only 50 members. As most chapters would have already experienced, we struggled in membership before the start of COVID and during COVID. And on top of that, our previous advisor, unfortunately, left the chapter. So in our fall 2019 invitation, we only had, uh, had five students accept their uh, invites. So, so, in order to, so how to be recognized by your university. So all universities have like requirements to be recognized on, to be on the campus. Uh, at Sonoma State, you, we, uh, the university requires each club to have at least a president and a treasurer, as well as five, at least five members. All clubs also are also required to have a university staff to be the, an advisor. So when looking for an advisor, um, you primarily want, want a individual who works closely with first year students. These can be first year experienced faculty members, orient, orientation staff members, student affairs staff members. And, and the reason being is that it, that, uh, it, it will help add legitimacy to the chapters as some students might be afraid that the invitation might be fraudulent. And, uh, these, individu these individuals in, on staff can also help with organizing activities, get a connection with student affairs, uh, as well as help collect the grades needed to send out invites. Uh, you can also see get recommendation from current members in your chapter to look for an advisor. Now, how to get members re-engage in your ALD chapter. So as for our SSU chapter, we found that having a monthly meeting for both leadership and general members was a sweet spot. Uh, this way, leadership the leadership group is not overwhelmed trying to get all the activities together, but also is not stagnated where members get bored out. We also found out that creating a survey, letting members know what kind of activities are going on was another good way to get members re-engage. So I will quickly show you what we what our survey looked like. So at the start, basic uh, just basic information, but the key highlights with this survey, uh, we offer members um, possibility if they want to be part to have a position on the ALD leadership. This is a good way to see if anyone's interested of in stepping up for leadership. Uh, further down, we also have our list of activities and whether or not, and, and as well as like a scale how interested a member is. Additional, additionally to that, we also have a column, at, column where members can actually be able to uh, let the leadership uh, group know if they want to help plan this event. So that is another good way to engage uh, members in the chapter. And then lastly, we have like a small text box uh, giving members opportunities to list other ideas that they will like to see for future consideration. And for each of, and for each of these surveys that we send out, we also uh, give out a reward. So or on like a raffle ticket base uh, system for members who complete their survey. So that is a good way to entice more people to do the survey that you send out. Uh, activities. So activities that we've done to draw in more members, uh, we definitely did campus resource meetings. Uh, these usually involve uh, get, having a staff member from our career center to do a presentation, whether it be on like job searching, resume building, uh, job interviews. So that helped. Uh, so that helped our uh, members. We also did theme meetings. So we did a costume background competition during the Halloween uh, weekend. So that's a so that's another thing that you guys can do. Uh, after each meeting, we always do a post-meeting game for members who want who are willing to stay a little longer. Uh, these can be in a form of a scavenger hunt, a hoot, bingo, virtual escape room. And for each of these post-meeting games, we all always offer a award in the form of a uh, gift card to the winner of the game. 
So big tips for ALD chapter leadership, if you are establishing or reestablishing your chapter, uh, it's important to maintain persistence and consistency. Uh, persistence is important because when you are getting started with your chapter, it's very likely you'll start with a low membership. Don't get, don't get dis discouraged of, of the numbers, just work with what you got. Uh, I will guarantee that it will slowly improve, at, improve if you keep working on it. Um, this definitely show, showed during uh, our spring 2020 invite where we were able to get 30 members accepting it. Uh, consistency is also another important thing to keep in mind. Uh, you want to plan out meeting times on a consistent basis. This will help keep your members engaged throughout the school year. And that is my presentation for, for helping you establish or reestablish your chapter and if you have any questions feel free to ask.